guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I thought I would just kind of show you an afternoon in the life. This morning, I woke up really early with Jack and kind of took care of him. And then when Juan woke up, I just knocked out. We had a rough night last night. So I kind of slept and it was kind of an unproductive morning. So I'm just gonna bring you along for the second half of our day. Uh, what we've done already is taken Aubrey to the Dollar Tree, just me and her. My godmother gave her a gift card, and so we're finally cashing that out. Uh, it was like a Christmas present, and we just really haven't had the time to like go and use it. So anyways, we went and did that. That was the last video that you guys watched. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. I will link it up above. And then after Dollar Tree, her and I went to the grocery store, and I just picked up some groceries. So let me show you guys what I got. So this is just a small little haul. We're having Juan's family over on Sunday and we're gonna be making some like tacos. So I picked up some lettuce for that. We pretty much have everything else and an onion. And I got one that like looks like I could probably grow its own onion plant from it eventually if I soak it in water. So I'm hoping that I can try to you know work with this. But we got some milk, some strawberries, raisins. I wanna make some pumpkin bread. And these are just good snacking things for church anyways. We needed some eggs. These were like a deal of the week, so I thought that this would be fun. We enjoy bagels and we love cream cheese, so there you go. And then lots of tortillas for the tacos that I'm gonna be making. Got some Worcestershire sauce uh, for some meals that I hopefully eventually will be making. And then some little applesauce uh, in case baby Jack decides to you know, start trying new foods. And then also some heavy whipping cream because I have recently tried making the creme brulee again and it was much better than the first time. So definitely going to be making some more creme brulee. So this is our little tiny grocery haul. So I'm going to go ahead and put this food away and then probably just tidy up our kitchen a little bit more. So I think it's worth mentioning in this video that on a normal day, I might, might be as productive as I am this afternoon, but I definitely don't film it uh, if I am because I am also usually taking care of the kids and going like back and forth from one thing to the next. And it's just, it's, it makes it very difficult to actually just film what I'm doing, let alone get the actual task done. So on this day, obviously, you know, Juan was being very helpful and helping me with the kids and, you know, sacrificing, taking care of his own tasks so that I could film and get everything that I wanted to done, essentially, you know, somewhat kid free. So, you know, for all of you moms out there who, you know, your husband maybe works seven days a week or something crazy like that, or, you know, you don't have the extra help to have someone take care of the kids so you can do some extra chores like don't look at my videos and maybe feel discouraged it's definitely not like this all of the time and even if I am this close to being productive on a normal day when I'm home with the kids I definitely don't even have the energy to like film it because I am just you know really tired <laughs> So this is one way that I make a somewhat fancy drink and it's relatively inexpensive and quite easy to make. So I use one of these frozen lemonades and pour some frozen strawberries into a little pitcher that I have from the Dollar Tree, but for a party, I might use like a bigger glass one. And I just dump the frozen strawberries in the container microwave the frozen lemonade for about a minute and a half and then pour that in along with the three um, containerfuls of water and then I give it a little swirl and within like a day this turns into a nice pink strawberry lemonade it tastes delicious and it is cute to see the little strawberries floating around in there so if you're looking for an easy drink for a party this is definitely a favorite of mine so I saw a hack on TikTok where you take a colander, put it in a bowl, and store your watermelon that way. And I thought I would take it a step further and just use my like spaghetti strainer, you know, pot that I have so that all of the juice can drip down and not ruin or spoil the strawberries. And I gotta say, I love this hack. I'm never going back. It holds obviously almost an entire watermelon 
and the watermelon was nice and like crisp for days after I cut the watermelon and stored it this way. So I highly recommend this hack for storing your watermelon uh, after you cut it, especially if you decide to cut the entire watermelon all at once and not like, you know, cut half and save it for another day. Then I made my obligatory coffee smoothie pick-me-up and we tried the stuffed bagel bites for $2. These were a fun treat, but I might try to make my own sometime in the future using a recipe that I find online. So if I do that, I will make sure to bring you guys along. If you watched one of my recent videos, you saw that I made extra cookie dough and froze like two trays worth in individual containers. And since we were having a lot of family over the next day, I thought it would be a nice treat to snack on prior to dinner and dessert. So I love having like these little balls on hand so that I can just take them out, throw them on a cookie tray and like bake them and get fresh cookies. Then I dumped our green waste and wanted to show you our little pumpkin plants. So I transplanted these a while ago to our little side yard and I have no idea if and when they will produce pumpkins, but I haven't killed them yet, which is nice. If I were to the sea, baby, I never say. Next up, we are tackling Aubrey's crazy hair. Ever since she was a baby, she has always gotten some pretty crazy tangles. And in some of my very first videos on this channel, you can even catch a glimpse of how silly she looked with like a huge fluff ball on top of her head. Today's Tangle Monster was no joke and took a very long time to untangle, but we eventually got Aubrey's hair looking nice and moved on to some homemade copycat Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. So I've shared this recipe before on my channel a long time ago when we were living in Texas and then again at my gender reveal. So if you haven't checked out like those videos, I will link them. But I will show you my recipe card if you want to go ahead and screenshot it and try these for yourself. You really don't need a bread maker to make these, but it definitely makes life a whole lot easier. I love mine, and I think it is one of my top five most used wedding gifts. If you don't have a bread machine though, obviously you can mix the ingredients that are on my recipe card and then let the dough rise and you know knead the dough and do all of that. But like I said, I like my bread machine because I just dump the ingredients in and by the time it's done in like an hour and 40 minutes, my dough has risen and is ready to be assembled.
So I'm showing you some of these clips out of order for aesthetic purposes, but while the dough was mixing and rising, I did assemble the filling and the frosting and do some cleaning around the kitchen as well. So with the ends of the cinnamon roll log, I actually kind of cut them up and unrolled them into three strands. And then I braided them with the filling side up and then rolled this like newly created braid, uh, just kind of rolling it up like a cinnamon roll to make a regular size cinnamon bun. So uh, rather than having like two end pieces where it's mostly dough and not a lot of filling, I really like this method because it creates you know a nice size cinnamon bun with like enough filling everywhere and it's just a whole lot better than having like two stingy end pieces so after a nice rise in the like you know 170 degree oven which i kind of just i heat my oven to 200 and then turn it off and just have that be a nice warm spot for um, a good rise for the buns. I threw them in the oven, baked them, and got these ginormous cinnamon rolls. Now the center ones were definitely lighter, but they were fully cooked and everything was delicious. So like I mentioned before, these clips are a little out of order because I wanted to keep all of the cinnamon roll clips together. But while the dough was rising and mixing and while the rolls were rising and then baking, uh, there was a lot of time there where I was either organizing or restocking or refilling or cleaning the kitchen. So those are gonna be the clips that you are seeing now. And I hope that it motivates you to kind of tidy up your space as well. Is it ain't hard to forgive when you
you know what it's like That's why I'm better with than without you So once I was done cleaning the stove, I decided to just do another load of dishes, um, try to wash as much as I could in the dishwasher, and then I washed the rest by hand so that I could be like all dishes cleaned up since we were having guests over the next day. And then I put our bread machine away and just kind of tidied up and tried to get everything set up so that the next day would go smoothly and I wouldn't be too stressed. So like I mentioned before, we were planning on making tacos while our family was over the next day. And I have learned that, or I've at least embraced, that with a baby, I can't always do everything 100% fresh 100% of the time. And what I mean by that is, you know, if I could make my life easier by cooking or baking something maybe the day or two days before, then you know if it's going to taste the same let's do that so that is why i cooked our ground beef like our taco meat ahead of time because of the way i cook my tacos maybe i'll share that in a future video but you know it doesn't need to be freshly cooked meat that day and then the cinnamon rolls actually reheat like and they taste delicious even reheated you don't need to have them fresh i think that they taste like essentially the same so instead of having to worry about like making the dough and assembling and doing all of that on top of having guests over, I figured, hey, just make the dough and make the rolls like ahead of time and then have the frosting ready and we just, you know, microwave each person's cinnamon roll whenever they're in the mood for it. So, you know, those are definitely two things and, you know, prepping the food and the watermelon and all that stuff. That those are definitely things that made my life a whole lot easier and more enjoyable the next day. I was actually able to like enjoy the company rather than being super stressed in the kitchen. So if you can do something ahead of time and it's gonna turn out the same and taste delicious and you know it doesn't need to be done on the spot, do that. Make your life easier and stress less. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. I hope that it motivates you or inspires you or just, you know, entertains you maybe. And if you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe and catch all of my motherhood content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.